Hello everyone, a very sad maestro vlog here. If you're not subscribed already, please make sure to do so. It really does help me out. Like this video and drop a comment below if this has ever happened to you, but this might be it. So anyway, back to past me and what happened this morning, but I broke down on the motorway to give it some context because I heard a very weird sound and now I'm here. So yeah, let's get to it. Hello everyone, I'm stuck on the motorway. Why? Because Mimi's decided to break down. So I was driving along this wonderful stretch of road. And yes, I am following that highway code. I'm behind, I'm somewhere safe. I'm not in the car. I was waiting for rescue. But anyway, I didn't kill that bird. But I was driving along and all of a sudden a massive knock of that car. I heard like a, a slight, slight knock and the car went backwards a little bit. You know, it's, it's, it was like a misfire. And then all of a sudden I just heard a really like a little knocking sound so I was like you know rather than risk her I'm gonna take her and you know I'm gonna wang her on the high shoulder. I've checked the oil she's not starved of oil or anything like that I've checked all the top of the the what the, the whatever they're called I think it doesn't have cams or anything this car yeah it does and um, I checked all the all the top end and everything through the oil thing and it looks fine and um, the coolant though when I opened the cap it was obviously freaking bad like it was bubbling and it's just it looks terrible look at a shimmy as things go past so yeah i um, a bit of an unfortunate maestro video here because i if this is um if what i think is the case which is the engine needs rebuilding then i'm a bit screwed well she's a bit screwed i'm not but we'll have to see um so yeah wow another car crisis thank god for that look how cute she looks on the side of the motorway so this, my friends, is why you listen to your cars, because if you don't listen to them and you don't pay attention, this happens. So I'm obviously at a bit of a retrospective on the side of the road because, of course, it sounds like it's got camshaft failure. Now, you may be wondering, I'm in a lo different location, because what I did is we dumped loads of oil in and we drove it back to Scunthorpe and she was perfectly fine. So we just thought, oh, it's just knocking a little bit because of that. And it wasn't knocking immediately after we put the oil but now obviously she has developed it again and I ain't driving it any further. I can't do this again. I can't sit there and go, you know, I'm just gonna, I'll just deal with it. I'll just drive it. I'm not risking her any further. I'm not having this car break down. I'm not having this car go any, any further and have any more issues. So there she is on the side of the road. So you may be wondering how this happened. Well, basically we think anyway that I was using 10 weight 40 oil and it was blowing past the piston rings. Now, I've been topping this oil up ridiculously over the past couple of weeks. Always topping it up, always having to top it up, etc. Um, and of course, this is the big problem, is number one, I didn't listen to the car. The car needed a ridiculous amount of oil all the time. What does that indicate to you? It's burning oil, which means there's a problem, but obviously I didn't think of it like that. So, which is, is on me. This is completely on me. It's nobody's fault but mine, not the car. She's lovely. She's doing what she's supposed to do. She will return if, if, if um, the, the um, car gods in the sky permit. She will return. But the main thing is, is this is a bit of a warning. Hence why I'm really transparent with you guys. It's a bit of a warning. Listen to your cars. If it's spurning excessive oil, change the, have it checked. Check it yourself oil's obviously blowing past the piston rings and it's getting burnt you need to um get a higher rated oil a higher thickness and um, viscosity oil so you can obviously um so it doesn't pass through there which is what i've done sort of at the last minute i've been saying i'm going to be doing it for ages but uh, we just thought oh, it's an austin my show it'll be all right it's not like that these cars as much as their um old you know crocs or whatever you want to call them they are still classic cars they are still vintage cars they're kind of not really made for this anymore and obviously you've got 40 years on her and she's still going strong i don't want it to blow up i don't want to lose it it's such a lovely little car and um, so i'm probably gonna end up doing this all by myself and rebuilding it myself because why wouldn't i why wouldn't i sit there and and spend a bit of time on it um, but the main thing is obviously find out if it's viable. Those rear arches are obviously bad, as you know. There's a few more bits, so we'll see, obviously, how we go. I'm not ruin the camera, but she's been a blast so far. She's been a real blast. 
Then obviously I'm stuck on the A A18. Nobody's nobody's tried to help, but I wouldn't expect that really. Look at them just sitting there. But listen to your car. Don't be as stupid as me. If it starts making a, a weird rattly noise, like it's this heat shield on these rattles all the time. But I, I attributed some few, a few things down to that. Listen to the car, make sure everything is as it should be. If there's a sound that's slightly not right, don't ignore it. Actually do something about it. Of course, that's not something that's happened with this. Essentially what happened is, is I checked the oil in the morning and it was on like just above, above minimum. It's like, okay, well, I'll top it up when I get there. Silliest mistake of my life. Again, a lot of people have done this at 18, so don't ask like you aren't like you aren't done it. The difference is I'm stupid enough to have done it at 24. So yeah, anyway, so there she is. She's stuck on the side of the A18 now. For now, anywhere while she gets recovered. But yeah, the main thing is for from all this this ridiculously silly maestro vlog, one of the stupidest ones you've ever seen, listen to your cars. If it starts making a noise, check it, check where it's coming from. If it starts using oil and fluids excessively, check it, check where it's, why it's using that and try sort that out. I did use some Lucas oil stabilizer in it as well to try and sort that out, but I don't know if that's if that made any difference. It clearly didn't. But what is the future for this car? Nobody knows. The light is approaching closer to it though, but nobody knows. Um, at the minute, of course, I've got to get it home. I've got to see exactly what I've got to do with the poor thing. I think the plan will be is obviously to get her recovered, um, then check it over myself or have someone come and check it. I mean, she's looking nice. The main thing as well is, is I do have loads of bits for it and I do have loads of plans for it and I don't want to let it die. So if anybody wants to make any suggestions for engine rebuild kits, new engines, etc. Again, it might not even be that, but who knows? I am pretty damn sure it is, and I'll include a sound clip of it now. But yeah, there she is on the side of the road. The Hyundai going past extremely fast, the Maestro not moving. It is a metaphor for a land and a car stuck in time. So, unfortunately, it feels to me like I might have done the stupidest thing I could have ever done, but at least it's on video, eh? At least if you get a kick out of this, that's cool. If you don't get a kick out of it, that, that's also cool. If you, if you, you know, this is the best thing about this, this channel and about me being incredibly honest. Um, and being a, an idiot sometimes when filming things is this is a warning to you all. Don't be as stupid as me. I don't know why the, and, oh, and if you have an oil leak, have that checked as well. Check these things. A lot of people run these cars with oil leaks, etc. The oil's weeping from a gasket, etc. Get that changed, because you'll never know when that could turn, that could turn against you. I was in a very, very big rush this morning. I didn't have any time to do anything. I had a lot on over the past couple of weeks. And I just thought to myself, you know what? She'll be fine on just above minimum. And she wasn't because I was using some poor quality oil as well. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. Not really much else I can say on the matter other than walk around in the safe part, in the lovely Lincolnshire countryside, and ruminate about the good old days when she worked. But, again... I hope I can rebuild it. I hope I can sort it out. You know, we make we make mistakes, we learn lessons, and I've had to learn the hard way. So take this video and do not learn the hard way. Because if you learn the hard way, you end up like this. But who knows, it might not even be that. It might just be something else. But you guys can judge by that, that sound clip that I've included. Well, at least I'm in my lovely home of Lincolnshire. Chilling on the flat ground, waiting for the AA, who have been as cough brilliant as ever. You know, people haven't seen one of these broke down in a while. There we are. So thank you for watching, guys. Remember to subscribe for more of, well, not more of this, because I don't tend to do this sort of thing very often. 
Thank you for watching. Keep watching. Remember to subscribe for more. And remember, check your stuff.